Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 43, and this is war number three. We won the last war. We really need to win this one. And we're going up against an alliance called Hell's Bells 2. Now, I'm coming in here a little bit late. Uh, these are the champions that they have banned. All right. And we've already discussed our plan of attack here. As you can see, I take path three, and I've got some tough, tough defenders on my path in section one. Not sure I'm, who I'm going to bring yet, uh, but I am going to be taking that future Ant-Man. And I'll be bringing uh, Magneto in for that. Then we've got Omega, Sentinel, and we've got Apocalypse. I'm thinking about bringing Claire in for that. And that leaves me with one to help out on Boss Island. You see that Korg over there? I'm thinking of bringing in Diablo. I do remember fighting Korg with Diablo on that node, and it went pretty well. So unless something happened to change things up, that should be um, a pretty straightforward fight. So that is the team that I am planning to bring in. Just giving you guys a little look around so you can see who else. Look, we already got somebody fighting in there. Get them. Get them. All right. And, and that's about it. Uh, I won't be taking that Nimrod. We already have somebody for that one. So I'm going to get in here and, uh, I don't know, maybe use up my energy real quick. Or I may just wait for them to clear the middle so that I can just come in and do my first fight, which would be the future Ant-Man. All right, let's get on with the fighting. All right, so I'm going in with Magneto, Claire, and El Diablo. And you know who my target is for El Diablo. All right, so... Let's go in. I take path three, sections one and two. However, as you saw, I didn't have any fights on my path. And I was going to make a, a you know funny video like, okay, the first fight is going to be tough. All right, we got that one. And the second fight is going to be tough. All right, we got that one. But somebody already used up their energy to just clear out my path. Uh, so I guess they could get to uh, whatever fights they were getting to. Uh, so I was just like, okay. But anyway, first fight for me is going to be this future Ant-Man. That's why I brought in uh, Magneto. And Magneto, if you've seen uh, me fight future Ant-Man with Magneto, you already know he tears him up if you know how to fight him and what you're doing. All right. Um, sometimes they'll try to put a trap there. Uh, and I believe we already saw that where um, they banned Magneto and put future Ant-Man there. But we had an answer for that, too. All right. So you can see here I was glancing a lot, but I was trying to wait until he was magnetized. All right. And because. Uh, OK, look at this. I, I messed up and I kind of uh, dexed, I think. All right. There we go. And I got to make sure that I don't dex like that. Because as you saw what would happen, that's what will happen. So you don't want to dex. All right. All I got to do is just block everything. The damage is not going to be that much. Um, it would be much worse if I actually got caught. So now I just need to build up. Build up. 35 is probably enough. But I went for a little bit more. And that's going to do it. All right. So... Um, you want to wait until the magnetize gets on him. I messed up that way the first time I fought him. And then you do not want to get any buffs. Now, because of the attacker tactic, um, Magneto, who gets armor ups, can burn them. You saw the power burn happening 
That is thanks to the attacker tactic. Okay, so he is great for um, for that fight. Now we fight Omega Sentinel, and fighting her on this node, you basically want a bleed immune. And if you know how to fight her, you can do it with anyone. But you don't want to do the same um, attack twice or the same action twice, I guess, because she will get those armor ups. Now, with Claire, I can, you know, play a little bit more relaxed because I can nullify the armor ups. Uh, but if you're fighting with anybody else, you don't want to do that. Okay? See? I just did a, gave her a buff immunity. All of them gone. All right, and she's done, just like that. But if you're not using Claire or anything like that, bring a bleed immune, do like a parry light, parry light, um, I mean a medium light, medium light, or parry light, you could do that too. Um, but you wanna alternate. Just remember that when you parry her, she has a chance to generate an armor up anyway. So you can do a medium, light, parry, heavy she's still going to generate an armor up sometimes so bear that in mind and you might have to bait out a special because she gets rid of armor ups when she does her specials so now we're fighting big daddy apaco and i just want to bait these specials out um he does not get any armor ups so he's not really that difficult to fight on this node I don't even need to be shock immune or anything like that. If he was getting armor ups, I would need to be shock immune. All right. And you'll notice I don't really try to fully evade his uh, specials. There's no reason to endanger myself, you know, because his special hurts. I have evaded it fully several, you know, instances, but there's not really a good reason. You know, especially in war. Now, this one, even with the blocking, you see how much it hurts? Don't get hit by it. And I've evaded that one, too. So I know how to evade them. I'm wildly out of practice. I'll tell you that. Um, but not that bad to just take the blocked hits, especially in Alliance War, unless those were unblockable. All right, now I did not take this fight. Um, this fight, you don't want anybody that does energy attacks. And if you look on my team, everybody, everybody did, does uh, energy attacks, okay? All right, sorry about that. I had some um, technical difficulty, uh, really user error, because uh, I put the wrong clip on. So it all of a sudden started uh playing the first clip <laughs> and i was like wait what what's going on all right anyway el diablo i told you guys that i had the target and you knew who the target was and it's this korg anytime i see korg in that bottom right hand corner node diablo if i can bring him uh diablo is in my opinion the safest and the easiest to fight him. Um, you know, you can use others. No, no question about that. Now, I did boost up a little bit because I was just trying to... One of the things that I like to do um, with this Korg is go to my special three. So the faster I can get to the special three, the faster the fight can be over. Okay? So here you go. I'm just trying to knock down those... Uh, rock charges all right there we go shield is shattered and now i just want to get to that special three really okay want to bait that out okay now come on there we go because i need to have poisons on him to generate power by the way um so there we go. We shattered the shield again. Now, every time you shatter Korg's shield, it comes back less. Just so you know that. I don't know if you knew. Um, but every time I do it, 
it is faster to get his shield down. All right, so there we go. Boom. Give me a poison. Give me a poison. There's the poison. Now I can get to my special three. His shield is down. I do want to bait out one special. And now. Here we go. So just sped the fight up a little bit. But watch the damage. And keep in mind that having damaging debuffs gives me power too. All right. So look at that. Look at that poison. Look at the poison. He is getting ripped up. Not only that, but for every poison, I'm doing more damage every time I hit him. The more poisons that are on him. So that's just a lot of damage. All right. Anyway, that is going to do it. That's all of my uh, participation in this war. We didn't have a single death, so that was good. Um, I did not have any other fights. Yeah. All right. So uh, we'll be back in a minute. And you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. As I said earlier, this was a must-win war for us to stay in Tier 2. So now we just got to, uh, you know, we have a little bit of play, I believe. You know, like the next war... If we lose it, we need to just make sure we win um, the one after that and stuff like that. But uh, this war, uh, we did pretty good, as you can see. They got stuck uh, on one of our defenders. Bad. And um, we were just watching the kill numbers going up and up and up. So anyway, take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.